Hi guys, Bex here with Murphy. Welcome back to some more Minecraft mapping. And today we'll be doing something that I haven't done in forever. Uh, I wanted to work with some big brush technique, and I don't, I haven't really done that since. Uh, I used it a lot in Legendary. The reason for that is is back then, MC Edit didn't have asymmetrical brushes like this. It just had symmetrical brushes, so you had so, you know nine by nine by nine, and and that was that was it. And I found it was kind of nice looking when you used a big brush. And let's see if we can recreate. Uh, sandstone, and it was something like, probably something around like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely say that's it. Uh, let's carve out a space here. There we go. So, out of curiosity, let's try and recreate the legendary cliffs. Alright, so the old Minecraft ceiling was here. Uh, 128 blocks. So that is, and it was solid sandstone. Let's fill that in. Do I time skip there? Nah, that was short enough that I shouldn't have to edit it. All right, and then we had a an airbrush. Hmm. All right, just let it keep on rendering and in, fill in. And we have is a nice big airbrush right there. So let's see. Get it about even. Uh, you know, I'm actually thinking that maybe I didn't use something that large there. Or maybe I did. And come in. And the big brush, what that does is it gives you a nice, big, uh, smooth curve that you don't quite get with the smaller brushes because it's more gradual. Okay, so let's pull that in. We're going to keep it even with the border here, and there we go. Alrighty, it fills in. Uh, I'm going to wait a sec for MC Edit to load, although I'm going to go ahead and do the next, although that looks pretty nice already right there. That nice gradual just over here, this cliff here, and then we'll end up with a cliff over here little... Did I use the diamond shape brush for Legendary? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, we had... Let's make this smaller. And then let's run it along the side here. See how that looks. Uh, do I time skip that? Or is that fast enough? That's eh, fast enough. Uh, and then with Legendary I did, I carved out the sides of the cliff with these big brush techniques. And then I came back in and you just fill them in. Uh, actually, I will say when I'm using fraps that uh, the rendering in MC Edit is slower than normal. So let's see if I can get this filled in. I'll toggle off fraps. Actually, you know what I think it is? I think it's exposure to the void. For some reason, MC Edit does not seem to like it when you have the void exposed. And I bet, I bet, let's go into fast view. Yeah, see, it's giving me some errors there. But I bet if I come in here and then go down and then fill in. 
Uh, let's swap those. Oh, X swaps, by the way, uh, if you didn't know. Sand, fill with sand. Okay, and with the void area and open air filled in with some sand, it's rendering in just fine now. Yeah, exposure to open the open void, uh, I, I don't know what it is with MC Edit. It just doesn't, MC Edit doesn't like it, and that uh, kind of weirds out on you and won't render in. Okay, if this looks familiar, uh, yeah, this is the basic technique I used to make the uh, cliffs in Legendary, and I thought they looked pretty good. Uh, were they this shallow, though? Were, th were, were they this shallow? shallow? Or did I do something else to make them? Hmm. Did I use... I don't remember if I used diamonds or not. I like a diamond shape. Let me see here. Let me go on this side. Uh, let's make that 33 deep. Delete it. Hmm. Looks good, though. Looks good. I like the way this looks. Uh, the cliff here. Uh, obviously, the ground is perfectly flat, and that kind of looks kind of odd. If I were remaking this, I might do something like uh, replace with air, air, and then smaller. Although now I have asymmetrical brushes, which renders this method of making cliffs a little maybe obsolete. I don't know. But I would come in with some asymmetrical brush and then just wave it around haphazardly and then fill that in. Let's see. So that yeah, looks better. And I would probably use a lot of a road on this too. Oh yeah, this side looks better. This side looks better than the first one. I think I used a smaller brush and then hit the cliff with it directly. Yeah, this looks better. I like this formation of the cliffs over here a lot more. Uh, what if I used diamond though? Did I ever use diamond? Uh, let's do fill with sandstone. Uh, let's try something in the middle sized range. Although medium and large and what, whatever is completely subjective. Diamond. Uh, fill with air. Uh, a little bit bigger. 89. And then come in and then just do wave it up and down a little bit like this. And see how that looks. Performing brush. And nowadays, uh, the ceiling is much higher. The ceiling goes all the way up to all the way up to there. So we have even more height to work with. Now the diamond uh, the diamond shape is going to give us this very, uh, ooh, that looks kind of cool too, I have to say. Uh, it's a very, um, rigid looking shape, like a, kind of reminds me of a glacier. Actually, if that was made out of ice and snow, I bet that would look pretty cool. Huh. Anyway, let's go see what some of the stuff actually looks like in game. Okay, uh, there's Murphy, and it looks like it's uh, what is this? Weather clear? Is it raining? Time set six thousand. Sun should be right above our head, and also not moving. All right, it's better. Hi, Murphy. Yay. Uh, let's go this way. I used what is this? Polished andesite. I'm trying to remember the names of all these new, newfangled blocks. I'm an old fogey. Been been mapping since Minecraft first came out, and it's just, well, not very first came out. I I didn't. 
I uh, I started with Minecraft in two thousand ten. I started in alpha, I think. <clears throat> I did not see in-dev or inf-dev versions, but I started very, uh, very in early alpha with Minecraft. I remember, I think I got the game before the nether was added in the game. I know that, because uh, that was a very big deal. Um, so how does this look? Yeah, these are really shallow. I remember the cliffs in Legendary uh, were much deeper. Like, th this looks more like it. Okay, so I hit the cliffs directly with the brush. I didn't run the brush on the ground alongside the cliffs. Yep. Yeah. Still looks good. Still very smooth. Uh... There's no really obvious brush strokes because of the brush being drug along. <clears throat> now the diamond shape is more obvious. But I still think it's really neat looking. Uh, and obvious brush strokes aren't always a bad thing. I would just say be cautious of them. Uh, they're not inherently bad. Um, because, I mean, a lot of stuff is, are, like, block shapes and diamond shapes. Uh, they're okay with some, like, context. Uh, like, crystals are, in my maps, the crystals are almost always going to be, like, diamond shape. And that's just how they are, uh, because Minecraft is a, everything is made out of squares in Minecraft, or cubes in Minecraft. Uh, all right, let's see. I really, I really like the rigid, uh, rigid slope here. It, I like that. Looks kind of cool. I bet this would be a really, yeah, this would be really annoying terrain to, uh, well, maybe, okay, well, maybe not that annoying, because you could just run and jump and hop around on it, but, uh. It would definitely be challenging terrain, especially if there were monsters all over this after you. It would be tough to quickly move. That's a cool shape. <clears throat> and then here's the where it dug in. Huh. Hmm. And then a perfect... Now that's something I might try and work on up there. If I was going to use this. Actually, I kind of like that as a... Huh. I wonder what would happen if I started smacking this with the Erode Brush. The Erode Brush, by the way, is... If you're using MC Edit, it's, it's one of your best friends. Because you can make a general shape out of... Uh, simple brush strokes. And then use the Erode tool to give it some more character and it's a great way to quickly make more natural looking terrain but this right here yeah this is definitely uh, the legendary style cliffs uh, I don't know if I would make it like this with the flat area here um, this is uh, you know what? Let's go back into Minecraft uh, MC Edit, and if I was going to remake the legendary cliffs, how would I do? Th how would I go about that? I'm really happy with the the nice smooth curve here. Uh, I wouldn't mess with this because I just love the way this looks. I think it's it's very nice looking already. Uh, but what about the what about the flat? What about the flat terrain here? Because even though it's a desert, it shouldn't be perfectly flat. Although, I have to be honest, I don't. I kind of actually like the perfectly flat ground. Um, I had a world w one time, a single-player survival world, where it was... Uh, I used a custom world generator. And it was basically the normal world, 
only everything was flat. There was very little variation. Uh, just because it was nice to build on, but still not be in like a creative flat world. It was, uh, I guess, like flat map plus or something. Something along those lines. Like there were still... And I think I had a village generation mod before villages were actually a thing in Minecraft. And maybe custom dungeons and stuff. I, I don't remember. It was a it was years ago. Uh, but I, I liked it a lot. You know, maybe I'll have to do that at some point. Make a super hostile map where it's just it's just flat, but there's you know stuff to do, and the flatness is just a uh, intentionally done as a aesthetic to the map. Just because I kind of I just like it. I don't I don't mind I don't mind it. It feels mm, kind of makes me it kind of makes me nostalgic for old platformers like Super Mario World and stuff, or just you know even the first Mario where everything is like a flat is you know a flat platform. Anyway, uh so how would I do how would I handle this if I if I remade it? I think All right, let's well, let's go into MC edit and see. All right, let's see here. Uh well first, there is one thing I think I would do. And that is uh no diamonds round. Eh. No, 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 no. How about the shape? Uh, yeah. And then, how about we do a little... Uh, no, still too big. I don't want it that big. I want it smaller. Smaller. Uh, good enough. Uh, let's make the... the top here less... There we go. Oops. I don't want to have any pieces. But let's come through here. No. There we go. So that makes the top uh, more jagged, and I think that looks a little better, the jagged top, than the perfectly straight top. Uh, now, now we were going to take some sand here. And... Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to give the erosion brush some seed to work off of. Let me show you what happens if you try the erosion brush on flat ground. Uh, erode, basically, it, uh, it doesn't, it kind of, the erosion brush needs uh, unevenness in the terrain to work on. So if it's perfectly flat, the erosion brush is like, I can't, I don't know where to begin. So if you seed some unevenness into the terrain, even a little bit, watch this. Uh, all right, let's do some sand dunes. Sure, let's stick some sand dunes over here and around there. And even on the wall here, it's okay. And then on the ground, let's vary it up a little bit. Uh, yeah, like that. So that doesn't that doesn't really look that great uh, as a you know map, and then let's take some air and let's throw some air around haphazardly. And these will this is this will be our seed for the erosion. Now the erosion tool has something to kind of dig into and begin on. It needs a starting point is basically what I'm trying to say, I guess. So now we can take the erode tool, and now that it has somewhere to start, let's let's smack that with the erosion tool and see it starts to erode stuff, since it has a starting point. Until, I think it'll erode all the way down to flat surface. Now if the surface is uneven, yeah, it'll go all the way down to a flat surface. And I don't think, once the surface is flat, I think it gives up, yeah. But as long as the surface is uneven, and it has uh, area to go down to, and, you know, I guess I don't really need to make it that high, do I? Uh, if we swing this erosion tool all over the place here, we we erosion, we all right, let's see what it does here. You know, in the bottom right here, it may actually just end up deleting those areas here. 
but when you're seeding the erosion, just make sure you give it differences in height. And any large flat plane, the erosion tool is going to try to end up matching. So try to make sure that you seed uh, dips and elevations in it. All right, let's see what it did. All right. Oh, look at that. That looks more natural. Look at that. And look at look at what it look what it's doing to the uh, the wall here. It may have actually mixed in sand into the wall. Yeah, look at it. Look at it. See. So that's kind of cool. So let's have it. Let's do some line spacing here to avoid the computer having to do work on the same area redundantly. And then let's do some of this again around the wall. Over the wall and down here. Let's hit these gaps again. And what this should do is make those gaps right there bigger. So we let the we let the computer do its magic here. And there we go. All right, let's see what happened. So we have it should make the lower areas start to widen out and the erosion tool basically like eat starts eating away at that nice flat plane we had let's see ah i wish there was a uh something in the erosion tool that would stop uh help stop like a little check mark or something where it tries to disallow levitating blocks like single levitating blocks because i hate those um and if I knew how to code, I would actually get on GitHub and because it's uh, MC Edit is now open source, anybody can try to make fixes to it and patches to it. So uh, if anybody knows some code, maybe like a little checkbox on the erosion tool to get rid of uh, like hanging blocks. Well, I guess something like this is is tolerable because it's stuck on diagonally, but any block that's not touching another block should be maybe deleted. Uh, that'd be kind of nice. What if we erode that? What happens? Erode it again! And again! And again! Haha! <laughs> and you can also uh, bump up the strength of the erosion. I, I'd be careful with this, this the, the strength of the erosion here, because it's very... it can get out of hand pretty quick, and you might want to kind of like check on it. And if doing power one erosions, that lets you have some time to check in and see what it's doing. Uh, let's see, what did that do? What if we just keep eroding one spot, what happens? Just go crazy with it. I think it's pushing, is it eating back into the cliff? I think it is. Yeah, it is. It's eating back into the cliff. Until it gets to a flat, yeah, it tries to, the erosion tool likes to make flat planes eventually. Uh, which makes sense, because that's what erosion is. Uh, until there's no more, it, it eats away at it until there's no more gradients. Uh, so I would actually come in and try to reverse that if this were a serious map, because I don't like that perfectly flat look right there on the wall. But the ground looks much nicer now. But you see what I mean about giving the erosion tool something to see. Now, I bet the erosion, if I had to guess, the erosion tool is going to have a field day with, uh, yep. Yeah, diamond formations, the erosion tool just goes crazy with. Look at this. Let's see what it does here. Yeah, see. I really like the way that looks, too. Uh, this looks great here. Uh, so you could make a nice diamond shaped cliff and then come back and let's make this bigger. Let's go crazy with it. Nice 200 size brush. This is a big brush episode, right? Everything is big this episode. So look at, the, oh geez, oh geez, let's lower the strength a bit down to four. Uh, this might take a while to run, I'm not sure. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't like that. It, it no likey. It no likey, okay. What is the maximum size of an erode brush we can do? Okay, still too big? All right. Let's turn you down even more. Maybe 150? Do you like that? How about 150? No, no 150? Okay. 130? 129. How about 129? No. Okay. Uh, 118? No? Eh. 
Eh, 100? Is it below 100, maybe? Wow. Okay. Looks like 99 is the biggest. Is it going to go through? It's going to give me the error again? Who knows? Okay, it went through. Okay, so 99 is the biggest you can make in a, a road brush. That's very interesting. Look what it oh, look what it did to the top up here. It's eating away at it, too. So if we want to come through here and let's turn up that line spacing to maybe 15 blocks. And I think I will time skip this. Uh, let's drag an erosion brush along the top here like this. Time And, of course, while I was sitting here waiting on it to do its thing, I started browsing Imgur and got completely distracted. Yeah, 30 minutes later, I come back. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, right. Yeah, while I wait on... Ooh, ooh. Oh, of course, yeah, it gets down to the scraping the flat stuff there, but... Oh, that looks so good. Oh, I love the way that looks. Okay. What about here on the, uh... What about here? Will it make the... Let's make this smaller. Maybe it'll go faster. A little bit smaller. What you got for me? What are you gonna... What? 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 Where did that come from? Let's try there. You're going to eat away into the... Oh, it's eating away into the thing. Look at that. Interesting. I don't know why it started there, but that's kind of cool. I like it. All right. And the erode tool, I think it does pick up on the blocks, and it looks like it's... It doesn't mix the blocks. I don't think it does, anyway. Will you mix the blocks? Ever? Will you ever mix blocks? certain kinds of blocks. I think it'll mix um, dirt, I think. Maybe. I know the erode tool has actually planted some blocks that weren't there before. I've seen it plant stone where there was no stone before. Very interesting behavior. Uh, that looks... Yeah, I like that. And from above... Yeah, the ragged... Ragged edge of these cliffs looks pretty good. So what happens, all right, now, Minecraft has come a long way, so what happens if I try to make the same type of cliffs but something bigger, you know, like really big? Uh, let's come in here and go ahead and fill this back in. Uh, this can be doit. Dirt. There we go. And yeah, let's put a giant wall of, I don't know, sandstone maybe here. All the chunks can be sandstone here. Uh, I'll use sandstone just because it's what legendary was made out of, so. This is going to, this is going to, these are going to be some big cliffs here, I'll say that much. Hmm. Now, how big of a brush should we use? This is the big brush episode, so I, I, mm, well, let's see what it means to go beyond. <clears throat> okay, 500, uh, 663. How about 663? There we go, 663. How big of a brush is this, and can I even, oh, oh my, there it is, okay. That is a bit, okay. That is a big brush. Maybe we should come over here and do it on the other side of the thing. Maybe. Just just saying. Okay, so where actually is the... Oh, there. okay. There's the edge of it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, brush 663 by 663 by 663. And, uh... And I can't see it anymore. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let's stick it in there and see what happens. Whee! That's a big brush. I wonder how big of a brush I can actually paint with before MC Edit freaks out on me. Huh. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, look at that. Looks like a laser came in and just cut it, cut it off. Yeah, look at that! This is all that's all that's left of the top part. 
up here in the corner. That's now that's funny that I actually got the wow. There's the edge of the sandstone. <laughs> oh, this is the edge of the map right here. That's all that has been that's been rendered so far. And of course it's it's uh it's void, so MC Edit is starting to freak out. I oh, can't see void. Don't like it. Very scare. Alright. Now what does that look like in Minecraft? Can I let's go let's go visit it. Okay, here's the eroded area. Looks nice. Nice forbidding for excuse me, foreboding. Uh, cliff up here. Oh, look at this. Nice cutout area here. More cliffs. Uh, not a fan. Not a huge fan of the perfectly flat wall back here, but yeah. And then over here. Oh, and when you're in creative mode, uh, splashing yourself with some speed potions does actually make you fly faster. Uh, and we're getting decent FPS in here. It's locked at 30 right now because I'm recording. Yeah, that looks uh looks pretty good. I like the way that looks in there. I'll have to remember that technique, a uh, diamond and then a road a uh, road tool. So over here is our monster monster sized hole we took out of the world with our 663 round brush. Oh wow. Let's see. What? Why isn't anything rendering over here? Oh, there we go. There's something. Is it this big? I mean, I know the view range in Minecraft at max distance is, I think, 150, so a 663 brush would actually go past your viewing range. You wouldn't be able to... Oh, oh wow. Oh, yeah, I see. You wouldn't even be able to see all of the brush. Uh, here's the edge of the map, and that's New World going out there. And so there's the the bite the brush took out of the thing we made as it loads in here. So basically, the reason I kind of like this is there comes a point in mapping where if your brushes are so large, uh, they pass the scale at which the player is used to seeing things. And at, if you look at this, it stops being an obvious brush stroke. It's just a huge curving wall to the player. And it's like being in the foot, it's kind of like being a f in the footprint of a giant, where you don't actually see the footprint, of the footprint because it's so large, and you wouldn't see it unless you were, uh, you could get up in the air and see it from a long way off, like a bird's eye view. Like now you can kind of start to see the sphere at this distance. But uh, when you're closer to it, you can't really see it. You just see, you know, a big curving wall. Uh, although the, the different colored terrain here helps you actually see the outline it, it carved out. Uh, wow. That's big. Uh, weather clear. No, not weather. Weather clear. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, the multicolor terrain definitely helps see the curvature of the brush. It came through here and just took a chunk out of the terrain. Look at that. I'm pretty sure that's the biggest I've used so far. Hmm. It definitely makes kind of nice looking cliffs. And then you could come in here and make your terrain and then use this as the world border kind of as a backdrop. It definitely beats the giant to vertical bedrock wall. Although I'm pretty sure at this point those these all might be outdated as we're going to have the um, border uh, command coming in and that'll let us actually set an impassable invisible border around the world. And we won't need to really worry about physically stopping the player with bedrock. And it'll be a more perfect border because the player cannot bypass it and if they do it kills them. Whereas the bedrock you can always just get on top of it and there's nothing I can really do to stop the player there. Uh, about the only thing I could do 
is make a player sensor and embed player sensors in the walls. And if the player gets close enough to them, it runs a command that just kills the player. So, I mean, that would definitely work. It feels slightly cheap to me, but if I was absolutely determined to stop the player, uh, I could say, hey, if you go past the bedrock wall to maybe a, a wall made out of nether brick, if you get close to the nether brick wall after the bedrock wall, it's just going to kill you, so you better stop. Um, but yeah, that's a big... That is huge. That's all the way from floor to ceiling in Minecraft. A giant chunk of wall with a airbrush taken out of it. 663 uh, all around in size. And now we're under the map. And I think, does swiftness help uh, elevate faster too? You know, I can't really tell. That is that is neat looking. I'll definitely have to experiment more with this in the future. Well, anyway, I think I'll wrap this video up here because I don't want each, any individual episode of, of mapping uh, getting excessively long, uh, even though I could spend all day working on this. So you might see uh, more episodes about the same thing in the future if I think I can make something cool. And I may have to do an episode uh, mapping with this shape here just because I'd kind of like to work on it some more, work with it some more. But anyway, uh, that's enough for now. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I always like it when you join me, and I will see you guys next video. Until then, take it easy.